Hey team, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to compare the two unique identifier functions, new ID versus new sequential ID. You may be surprised of the difference. Let us look at the difference between the new ID function and the new sequential ID function. So notice here on line 11, it generates a GUID in random order. So if I click this, notice that it generates a value. And every time I click this, it produces a random value. Now on new sequential ID, this does not work. But when you use it correctly, it will generate a GUID in sequential order. Now think about that for a moment. So this only works when it's associated with a table because it has to kind of know the previous value. So that's why, you know, it doesn't work like this. Let me prove it to you though. I hit it and then it's telling me, hey, you gotta be a default value. Now, what does that mean? So I'm gonna use my database and then make sure I don't have that table created. And then I'm gonna come down here and I'm actually gonna do the create table command. Notice I have identity column and then I have two unique identifiers. One's using the new ID, the other one is using the new sequential ID. Now notice these are both default values of this table test GUID. And I just have a var chart just so we can see some data. Let's create this table. Now notice that's successful. Now I'm gonna insert five rows into that table. And then I'm gonna search the data, select star from that table. And if you look very closely, the new ID, totally random. The sequential ID, notice the second character is changed, but the rest are the same. And there you have it. 